Thankfully, dry January is over. So our stock of the day is Diageo. We're going to have a look at whether or not it's worth buying back into Boozers and if Diageo is a good dividend stock. Now, Diageo is one of the largest drinks and spirits companies in the world. It's got a market cap of 52 billion, 27,000 employees, and the group has annual sales of about 14 billion plus gross profit margins of just under 22%. But the Diageo share price has been experiencing some tough times recently. Diageo issued a profit warning back in November when it said that it was seeing slowing and in some cases negative growth in key markets in Latin America and the Caribbean, which the company refers to as LAC and which accounts for 11% of Diageo's total revenues. Net organic sales were forecast to decline by 20% year on year. However, Interim results released this week showed that sales in LAC declined by 23%, and Diageo believes that it can mitigate the knock-on effects of this fall in sales through an inventory reduction. And to be fair to the company excluding LAC, they grew operating profits by 29 million, or just under 1%. So is it worth buying Diageo for its dividend to generate a bit of income? Well, the company also took the opportunity to announce a 5% increase in its interim dividend, taking it to 40.5 cents. Di Diageo has paid a dividend for the last 24 years, and it has a 15-year compound dividend growth record of just under 6%. The dividend growth rate dipped into the pandemic, but it's been climbing once more since the end of lockdown. Diageo has a payout ratio of just under 50% and a dividend cover ratio of just under two times. According to data from Dividend Max, that's a great website if you're looking for, for income stocks. These figures suggest that despite the fall in sales in Latin America, the dividend's not under threat. But what about the future? What does the future hold? Um, in the last six months, Diageo's stock price has fallen by around about 20%, and over a two-year time frame, it's down by over 25%. The two-year high for the stock has been up just about £40, but the chances of it getting back there in a hurry look limited, not least because the shares have printed new lows roughly every two weeks over the last year. Sitley analysts have price targets of around about £34, and that's about £10 or 35% above the current share price of 27 and a half. So the consensus recommendation on Diageo is really a hold. Now, are they overvalued? Well, Diageo sits on a forward P ratio of just under 19 times. And while that's not excessive, when compared to international peers such as Brown Foreman or Remy Contru, it's hard to make a case for them reaching the city's price target in the face of declining sales and an ongoing cost of living crisis. Plus, the firm's five-year revenue and earnings growth rates, which are split either side of 7%, now, Diageo hasn't traded above its 200-day moving average since April last year, and in truth, it hasn't spent any real time above the moving average since September in 2020. The moving average is currently found around about £31 and three quarters. Uh, over in the US, though, uh, the US broker Jefferies published an update on the stock after the interim results, which highlighted their underperformance and some metrics in Europe, North Africa, and of course LAC. But on the upside, Africa did outperform. Diageo could only be considered undervalued if its underlying markets start to pick up and management can achieve efficiencies through inventory control and other cost-cutting measures. For now, though, the dividend's secure and the group's strong cash flow should provide comfort for pure income investors. Now, if you want our most up-to-date view on DiMaggio, Oh, sorry. If you want our most up-to-date view on Diageo, go to Good Money Guide, search Diageo. Thanks.